Sample problem. A common refrigerant Freon 12 with a molar mass of 120.91 grams per mole is alternately vaporized in tubes inside a refrigerator, absorbing heat, and condensed in tubes outside the refrigerator, releasing heat. This results in energy being transferred from the inside to the outside of the refrigerator. The molar enthalpy of vaporization for the refrigerant is 34.99 kilojoules per mole. Now, if 500 grams of the refrigerant is vaporized, what is the expected enthalpy change, or delta H? So, what information do we have in this question? Well, we know we've got here a molar mass, which we'll definitely have to use. Um, we've got here um, this 34 point uh, nine nine kilojoules which is our uh, enthalpy change right this is our enthalpy change of va uh, vaporization right so our delta h of vaporization and now the only thing is we're only referring to 500 grams of this refrigerant right so this is our mass so we've got our mass we've got our molar mass We've got this of the vaporization, but remember this here, and let me just write out our givens, this here, this 34.99 kilojoules per mole, we're only referring to one mole, okay? One mole of this uh, refrigerant. So what we need to do is we are being given 500 grams with this. So what we're gonna do is now, if you look back at your stoichiometry, and we used molar mass, mass, and number of moles, right? So to find the number of moles, right, we cover up number of moles, and we notice that our mass is on top of our molar mass. So to find moles, we divide mass by molar mass. So our mass is 500 grams. We're gonna divide it by our molar mass, which was given 120 point nine one grams per mole so what we're going to do here is grams are going to cancel out and when we divide these two together um, we're going to get a number of moles as follows 4.35 moles so we're not um, using right to vaporize it we're not using 34.99 kilojoules per, per mole, we actually need to use this now in conjunction with this new equation. I'm going to use uh, a different color here to show that. Uh, so we're trying to find the enthalpy change, but we're using n number of moles multiplied by the, uh, uh, the enthalpy change or the enthalpy of vaporization, right? So our, our n moles is 4 point three five moles we're multiplying it by the um, enthalpy of uh, vaporization molar enthalpy of vaporization so it's 34.99 kilojoules per mole now notice the um, um, what do you call it notice the units and what cancel out Right, moles cancel out and all we're left with is kilojoules. So when we divide those together, we get a delta H that is equal to 144.7 kilojoules. So the least number of significant digits is four. So we also wanna make sure that our answer has four significant digits. So therefore the enthalpy change uh, of the refrigerant when it undergoes the vaporization is 144.7 kilojoules. So because the refrigerant vaporizes by absorbing the heat, right, this is going to be positive, right? So it's endothermic. So the, um, the Freon is going to be absorbing this amount of heat with 500 grams of um, uh, the, the Freon 12.